Hey, what is up guys? It's Kenny here and welcome back to some more Black Ops 3 a gameplay. Today I have a, uh, a theater mode gameplay. Uh, I was using the P06 even though yesterday I was like, you know what? I'm not going to use this anymore after the video, but I used it pretty much all night. And one of the reasons why is because this gun is absolutely nuts. It's, uh, it's nuts and I see why a lot of people on PC like to use it. Uh, some people only use this gun, which is pretty ridiculous, but I know why. It's because this thing is so strong. It's it's absolutely ridiculous. I got a little bit better with it. This was, I think this gameplay was literally the game after I recorded the video yesterday. I think this was the gameplay right after that. Um, I, I hopped on, played a little bit, ended up on Nuketown at the P06, and I was like, oh, this should ought to, this ought to be fun. This is going to be great. Um, and it turned out to be pretty freaking uh, fantastic. Now, I probably could have got to nuke this game, but I choked it, and then I just kind of quit going for it. You guys will see later on here. I, I don't even know what my streak was. I think I got like 15 or something like that. But like, so I wasn't even that close. But if I would have played just safer, I would have had it easy because like, well, I, would, I don't want to say I would have had it easy, but I would have had a pretty good chance because we had like constant haters like the whole second half. So it probably could have been pretty easy, but I wasn't really playing for it. I was playing very aggressive and uh, as I like to call dumb, but it was uh, it was a lot of fun. So anyway, that is the gameplay, the gun. I have uh, ELO, Rapid Fire, and Extended Mag. You can take off the rapid fire, and I would suggest either putting on FMJ or fast mag. For me, I think I'm going to put fast mag on. I put on FMJ yesterday, but I didn't really notice anything. Like, it, it shoots down streaks really fast, which is why you would want to put FMJ. But I would recommend extended mag, fast mag, elo sight, and uh, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, since the like whole change to the way rapid fire works now with burst weapons, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. So. Uh, that's what I would tell you guys to use if you're using this gun. Uh, Elo Sight makes this thing uh, an absolute monster. It's more of an assault rifle. It's kind of like using an XR2, but just a slower burst rate. I don't, it, it's nuts. So anyway, um, I wanted to talk to you guys about a topic that I get asked a lot, and I think I might start doing more commentaries and stuff on this. So if you guys have any questions uh, or anything re like at all, or whatever, just comment it down below, and I may do a topic on it in the future. It's got a lot of thumbs up and stuff like that. I may do a topic on it because I really like doing regular commentaries where you actually just talk about like a subject instead of just live gameplays all the time. But I just never know what you guys like want to hear and stuff. So today I was sitting down and I was thinking, I was like, what do I get asked a lot as a YouTuber and a streamer? Like on, on Twitter, on stream. This is a big one on stream. And I get these comments on YouTube as well. Uh, mostly, I think it's a lot of people trying to shout out their channel in the comments but not be a douche about it. So they're like, oh, I just started a channel... Like, oh, I got a sick gameplay, but I don't, what should I do? Like, what are some tips for YouTube and stuff like that? So, I see where you guys are coming from. You're not trying to be a douche, but you are trying to shout out your channel at the same time. And, you know what? That's that's all right. All right? I understand YouTube. It's a hard place to get started on. Trust me, if, uh, if it wasn't for exposure from Preston, I don't know if I would have ever grown personally. So, huge shout out to my boy Preston for letting me play with him, record videos, and, uh... I, I, I say the beginning of my YouTube channel probably started off because of him. Because obviously on YouTube, you guys may know, if you're a, a smaller YouTuber, it's very hard to get recognized on YouTube unless you have uh, something crazy or you get put on drama alert. Shout out to Keemstar. The guy's hilarious. Uh, but anyway, uh, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, so the, the topic of today, excuse me, I, I'm fumbling my words around, is YouTube tips and like what, 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 do, you, what do I think? This is obviously my personal opinion, um, so don't like take this... Take this with however you want to take it, but my personal opinions on starting a YouTube channel. One, if you're doing gaming, make sure you are very good at the game or you, I don't, I don't know. I say, I would say be very good at the game um, for the kind of videos I post. It, it helps to uh, be good at the game and like know, like know you can get good gameplays and stuff like that. Um, especially if you are planning on doing it daily because doing it daily you got to make sure that you can be pretty consistent So having skill at a game and being able to perform quite well at it is uh, is absolutely fantastic And will help you a lot in being one consistent and two uh, Having good gameplays that people actually want to watch if you're dropping 10 and 10 gameplays I'm sorry, but no one's really gonna want to watch that at least unless you're an absolute hilarious person and have a great personality and the best stories ever so if you're doing gaming I would say just make sure you're good at what you're playing and what you plan on uploading. If you're doing random funny moment highlight type stuff, then that's not so much the case. Like if you're doing like uh, Venos or Vanos, how do, you, how do you say his name? Uh, yeah, anyway, that guy, you guys know. If you're doing like type videos like he does where they're just like, you know, funny videos or like c ers and stuff, then uh, make sure you're funny. And uh, I would recommend if you're doing videos like that to have a solid group of players 
um with you or youtubers with you that like want to start out so if you got a bunch of friends and you guys want to start youtube and you guys are trying to go into that genre or whatever of youtube i would say make sure you have a good pack of friends who want to do youtube who are enthusiastic and uh who are funny uh obviously helps a lot so that would be my like thing now if you're doing vlogging or anything else makeup tutorials cooking shows man versus food i don't know whatever you're doing just uh make sure you enjoy it that's I guess that's the number one thing. I, I, I probably should have said that at the beginning. Don't do YouTube if you're just looking to make money. It will not work. I mean, it will not work 99.9% .9 of the time. Maybe there's a person out there who is like, I'm doing YouTube just for the money, and they made a channel, and who knows? Maybe it blew up and stuff like that. But do it because you want to, and you enjoy doing it. Because one, if you don't enjoy doing it, you're going to get burnt out. You're not going to want to keep doing it, and it's going to be very hard to start because um there's a lot of youtubers out there one is prestigious key uh he is a good youtuber that i like to watch sometimes he uh, i think his first year on youtube he did it consistently and he got 900 subs the first year and then now look at him he's almost at a million subs i think so obviously he loves what he does and uh that's why his channel is doing so well it's because he likes doing it and he you can't just you can't expect youtube to happen overnight that's that's another thing too you can't just expect it to like boom overnight you got to put in the time you got to put in the work just like kind of everything in life if you want to be great at something you got to put in the time do the work and uh see results hopefully uh now that can't be obvious i mean obviously i can't speak for everyone that you're going to see results if you put in the work and stuff like that but you you never know until you try so number one love it number two um be good at what you're doing if you're gaming or else be funny or something just make sure that you're unique uh make sure you stand out and that it's gonna be something that people will want to see like i said like a 10 and 10 gameplay or something on call of duty i'm sorry but i just don't think you're probably gonna get like that boost that you're looking for all right maybe you'll be hilarious and get it somehow and stuff like that and you know more props to you so besides that consistency i would say is the next thing make sure you're very consistent i already kind of covered this make sure that you're uh you know doing it daily make a schedule set your schedule and do stick to that schedule people like a schedule in their life um look at good mythical morning they put a video out at like 5 a.m my time i think every single morning their channel's huge um obviously there's a lot more into it than just uh the schedule on their part and stuff but having a schedule helps uh, i try to do consistent gameplays now i don't really have a set time that i do uh stuff on but i i try to stay daily and i think i've been doing daily videos for i don't even know how long but it's been a long time um i think i've been on youtube almost four years and stuff like that and since i took it started taking it seriously i don't think well i've obviously missed a day here and there but it's it's nothing like missed a week or something like that like i'll miss like maybe a day or maybe a two days at the most but um yeah so be consistent enjoy what you do and uh yeah there's not really much more to it you know obviously some of the basics that are kind of common sense is make sure you have good quality on your videos if you're doing vlogs, make sure you buy a good camera. I know a lot of people say you don't really need one, but if you're doing vlogs and stuff, you should probably have a good camera, especially if you're starting out new. No one's going to want to watch like some BlackBerry phone quality camera or one megapixel camera quality video. So um, the mic, I wouldn't really say the mic is the biggest thing. I think you can have as long as it's a decent mic where there's not a lot of background and stuff like that, then I think you'll be OK. And if you guys are looking like, okay, well, I got all this stuff and I got all that and I'm ready to start, but I don't, uh, I don't know what to use to uh, like record my gameplay or whatever. It's in, and you guys can find that there's tons of different programs and stuff to record, edit, do thumbnails with. Like, there's tons of different programs. You guys will just have to pick out a personal like preference that you guys enjoy and stuff like that, and uh, get started. But other than that, those are probably the three main things. That's the end of the gameplay. It's probably the three main things I can tell you guys. It's just love what you do, stay consistent, and, uh, you know, be unique and stuff like that. And hopefully it'll work out for you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.